girl, I'm about to go tell my truth at the Revels room. Working on my master's degree, so I'm pretty. It don't mean nothing to you, right? So, broke baby, it shouldn't mean nothing to you. So, you feel like since you in a relationship, you gotta be born. This person, shoot this person, shoot this person. Mm -hmm. And you ain't more. did it. But this question, I really want to know the answer, and I want to know the truth. Have you ever got flown out? No. I never got flown out. I'm ready. Hey, everybody. But my own personal segment where I just interview women and I get to answers that I always wanted to know. And not just regular answers. Today we have Mrs. Juan. How you doing today? Great, love you. Now that you're here with me and you're doing this interview, it's like a blessing. It's, it's, I know, right? I'll be blessing these people. Hey, I fuck with it. I fuck with it. But uh, like I said, this is just some general questions. Nothing too major. We're going to probably go down some rabbit holes, depending on how you answer. But uh, the first part of the show, we got to ask an icebreaker. All right, it's a game. It's just a regular game. And uh, you probably played the game sex, marry, kill. All right. All right, but it's not that. It's my own version. <laughs> I made it up. Okay. I made this, I made this game up. So if you ever hear this game out there, you know where it came from. Got you. It's called Reservations Movies Hot Ones. Right? Reservations, movies, or hot ones. Right. Mm -hmm. But these are your three people that you got to choose from for each particular date. You can only choose one for that particular date. Okay. The first, the first one, Bill Cosby, R. Kelly. Ready for the last one? Mm -hmm. Donald Trump. Dang, Bobby. All right. Reservations. Mm-hmm. Mm, I'm going to say Bill Cosby because I definitely be in public. Okay. Because I think he is a more classier man out of all of them. Mm-hmm. And R. Kelly... I don't know. I don't want to be in a movie. It's going to be dark with him. <laughs> okay, why? Why not? I don't trust him. You don't, You ain't supposed to trust none of them. Mm -mm. I can't be freaky, so I don't want to be in the movies with him. That's too dark. So I'm going to do the hot ones with Kelly, and I do the movies with Trump. The movies with Trump. Mm -hmm. Now, with Trump, what kind of movie you think he'll, he'll like? I don't know. I want the shortest movie out there possible. So it ain't going to be nothing long like a mm -mm. Lord of the Rings or no Harry Potter? Mm-mm. Damn. Mm-mm. Sorry, Mr. Trump. He don't oh. get that. He ain't worth my time, Bobby. So it's straight to the movies and then straight back home. That's it. That's petty as hell. Mm. That's petty, man. It is what it is. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. All right. What one thing you wish men would better understand about women? Um, you answer that quick. <laughs> I think men should better understand women by not deeming them as emotional or sensitive because they can communicate their feelings. 
Mm, okay, I like that. So you think because women display their emotions better than men with that men we say that's a weakness or we look at it as a deficiency i think a lot of men say that women are overly emotional or too sensitive because women can communicate how they feel and i feel women communicate how they feel because they want to fix whatever is messing up between those two but men want to act like they're perfect and they can't communicate and they hold it back and then they're like oh I don't want to deal with you. Like they can't communicate at all. So when women communicate their feelings, they're sensitive or they're overly emotional. And it's not that. They just communicate. Okay, I'm tracking. I got you. Mm -hmm. So you think how can men get better at like understanding women? Because like that's like hard to to do. Like how I'm gonna understand my woman emotions. Like how how can we better understand y'all, y'all emotion wise? I think if you really want that woman, mm -hmm. you will ask her, what can you do mm -hmm. to meet her needs? And if you really want her, you're going to do what you can to meet her needs as far as communicating. Because a man only going to do what he want to do for the woman that he wants. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Do you see yourself getting married? I hope so, but I don't see it. You don't see it like no time soon? No time soon. Mm -mm. No potentials? No runner-ups? Nothing? I would say right now one potential. You say no potential? All right, one, oh, one, one potential. There's one. One potential. Okay, okay. So how long are you willing to wait for that potential to pop the question? Mm, as far as once in a relationship... Yeah. Mm, everybody different. Every situation is different. So it depends where he is in life. If he feel like he's not where he want to be financially or career wise or emotionally, then I wouldn't put that pressure on him. Gotcha. Gotcha. So how long are you willing to wait if all his ducks is in a row and he just like holding on, like he just like procrastinating about it? Like, mm -hmm. all, like, for you, everything seems okay, but you like, damn, why didn't he pop the question? How long are you willing to stick around until he pops that question? I think four or five years is too long. Who? Four or five. Four or five. <laughs> yeah. Four or five. But what if everything is like good? Like y'all on the up and up, y'all boyfriend and girlfriend, y'all cool with where y'all at? You still gonna be like, hey, it's been four or five years. I'm ready. No, I, the threshold will be five. So like five years, that's it. Like you yeah. just like done. Yeah. Damn. Do you think before y'all get married, y'all should be best friends first? Or absolutely. So he should so, so can he have a female best friend? So he can have a female best friend, right? Yeah. As long as you know her, or like, I feel like there's some like hidden uh, rules that you ain't saying. Like, yeah, he can have a female best friend, but but there it goes. <laughs> but if y'all together and he's your best friend, you already know his friend. Okay. Okay. Like, what if you coming off work and she over there? Nothing. Okay. If you can't trust that person, then why be with that person? Right, 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 right. So you think women that have a problem with men that have female best friends, do you think it's a, a security level, an insecurity level, or like... I don't know. Every situation is different, though, Bobby, because it could be they best friends now, but they had a sexual relationship in the past. Or they could be best friends now, but that female see that the best friend is not really a best friend. She want more. So every situation is different. Is your best friend a guy or a girl? My best friend is a female. Oh, how long y'all been rocking together? How long? When? when how did y'all meet? I met her in middle school. 
you met her in middle school also, so y'all been rocking. Look, it's a little on and off, but it got rough in high school, but I met her in middle school. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Since we're talking about rules and stuff, what are some of the rules that you would like your man to use when he's out with the fellas? Mm, that's a good question. All my questions are good, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta think about that. I don't know, Bobby. Like, I ain't thinking about that. I mean, okay, so let me help you out. All right, so check this out. Let's say times. What are you think the adequate times he can go out a week with his guy friends? Like, what number is too many for him to be like? Okay, like you going out like three times a week, four times, five. Like, what's the what's the number? I will say he's grown, so he can do what he want. But no, he, that's what you. That's what you. That's what you want to say. But deep down inside, that's the answer we want. I feel that if I feel like it's a problem, I would say it. But I think. So you're saying situation dictates. It does dictate. Okay. Do you think the town and the city matters? No. Because once again, if you don't trust that person you with, why would? So it won't be no argument. Nah. It won't be no argument. Okay. What was the last argument you got in? With a male? Um, the topic was I was talking to this one guy, right? And I'm 26, so I don't really want to waste my time. If you always at my house and we spending every weekend together and six months roll around and we're not together officially, I feel like you're wasting my time. And then his problem with it is like, I'm putting a timeline on it and it don't work like that. But why are you wasting my time? It don't, I don't think it takes six months for you to know if you want to be with somebody or not. Do you think it takes six months for you to know if you want to be with somebody or not? Uh, I don't think that. Okay, when you say be with somebody, you saying like marriage, or are you talking about like boyfriend and girlfriend? Yeah, like boyfriend and girlfriend. Uh, boyfriend. I can forever. I mean, like bo bo boyfriend and girlfriend. This is my take. I don't think you should get serious with anybody until you actually live with them. Yeah. I mean, because like we could be boyfriend and girlfriend, but if you. Go home, you living nasty, you know, your hygiene ain't up to par. You got like a couple of uh practices that I don't like. Then we boyfriend and girlfriend, if we go out in public, it's gonna be cool. But when you go home, it's like I really don't I really don't fuck with you like that because of your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So we can portray boyfriend and girlfriend. But how long is that going to last? Because eventually we're trying to get the marriage right. I'm going to eventually see how you live anyway. So I got I got to see that up front. You don't buy a car unless you test drive it. Yes! But you think you have to live with somebody to see how they live? You can spend a couple nights over there and just, you know, have a key or something. But you ain't got to live with them. You know how many girls just come spend a couple of nights and that ain't how I really live? Well, you ain't being honest, Bobby. I mean, but I ain't looking for no serious relationship, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you date someone and I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, okay, she came over, impress her, okay, it's cool, get them sweet nothings, all right. She come over a couple times. Now you gonna see how I really live. <sighs> I'm not nasty or nothing. I ain't no, I don't got mess everywhere. I'm a, I'm not a germaphobe, but I like stuff neat and tidy. Mm -hmm. But like, when I say that, that mean like, I might be acting engaged in your conversation, but that ain't how I really am after I get that. That ain't how I really am. It depends. Now it depends on like what you talking about. Because I believe a lot of women, they just like to come home and they just like to talk. I'm cool with you coming home to talk if you just want to vent and get it off your chest. But don't come to me every night talking about this same girl at work. I don't give a fuck. 
Got it. After so, week two, I don't care. I'm sorry. Bobby, what is it that you're doing? Are you dating just to date? Or are you dating to eventually build something with somebody? Are you I'm, interviewing, I'm interviewing you, but I'll answer that. But right now, I'm just out here living my... I'm young. I'm happy. I ain't rich. I got a little money in my pocket. I'm enjoying myself. My dick get hard whenever I want it to. Uh, so I'm just showing off my talents. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, but... but showing off your talents, and then somebody get attached to you on an emotional level. Then what? I don't think I'll let it get there. Because I'm the type, look, I think you're coming over too much. I think it's too much time being spent. And I think you're getting an emotional connection. I, I don't got no problem with saying that. And after my last situation, I found that it's just much better to be, like, way more honest. Right. Because, like, and let them choose, which, right. I, I, which I thought was, like, bullshit when, like, men used to tell me that. You got to let her choose, be straight or honest. I was like, yeah. whatever. But I get it now. I, I get it now because how the, my last situation, it was just like I still want her to be a friend, but I kind of like fucked that up because like so much lying and shit was going on. Mm -hmm. But that's my outtake on it. Like you gotta, you gotta be honest. You gotta be honest. Like that's why another part of this podcast just being honest. And I just wanted, I just wanted to make it normal. Like to be honest. Everybody's so scared of saying their honesty because you're scared about what somebody else might think like mm -hmm. just just say it even though i do agree that some things shouldn't be said but your honesty is your honesty right i agree with you bobby you gotta let her choose because if she chooses to keep messing with you and you told her up front that's not what you want she's only mm. she's just hurting herself it's not you doing it because mm. she had the option to put herself in a position or not right right Right. So, are you in a relationship now with that potential? No. Say that quick. Uh -uh. <laughs> uh -uh. Okay. 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 That's my last relationship, like real, real relationship. I was twenty, so like six, almost seven years ago. You was in a relationship for like six, seven years. A goal. Oh, you was in a relationship six, seven years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like a, a real one. A real one. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got a question about breakup and like relationships after they end. This yeah. how I feel. I feel like after relationships, like all the niggas that be DM DM y'all or be talking to y'all during the time y'all in the relationship, do y'all immediately like have like a a depth chart of which one y'all gonna fuck next? I can't speak for all females, but for me no. Mm. Some of your friends? Some of your friends, huh? Yeah, some of them. But for me, I don't think everybody's worthy of my vagina. So I can't just give it up like that. I feel you. I feel you. So you saying the vagina is more important or less important than the time. Which one's more important? Time. So time is more important than your vagina? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's a good question, Bobby. No. I'm just letting it's you know. It's equal. It's equal. It's equal. No, you know. <sighs> okay, I'll just see how you just teeter totted your way out of that one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's mm -hmm. a good one. That's a good one. I got I got another question about uh relationships and breakup. Mm -hmm. What's the first thing you do after a breakup? Like, what's your go-to or your getaway? Or you think most women's getaway is talking to somebody new? I think that evaluates or not evaluates, but that validates what I just said. You immediately talk to somebody new, you immediately shop in that cootie cat. No, you if you talking to somebody new, don't mean you giving away your cootie cat. But you but you're looking for a potential cootie cat getter. No, it's not always like that. Okay, so you just doing it to waste daytime? No, it ain't uh, like it. you doing it to see where it's gonna go, and if it don't go nowhere, like you said, you gotta move on to the next, like or take time to yourself. And you just hoping that they see it. You hoping that 
your ex boyfriend or whoever you with see it? No, nah, because at that point they shouldn't even matter. Oh, so you ain't petty? No, I feel like once you break up and you get over it, that person go live their life and you go live your life. It's, it's no point in doing that. What's the pettiest thing you ever did? Get it off your chest. I got a feeling it's coming. When I was in high school. You said high school. You 26. That's that's you did way more pettier stuff as an adult. After a breakup. No. Huh? No, not after a breakup. Okay. That was my last relationship when I was 20. Bobby, 20. Okay. Yeah, 2026. 20, same difference. But uh, what was that petty thing that you did your senior year? How you know it was my senior year? Lucky guess. It was definitely my senior year, though. I know it was. But I was trying to get the other nigga to fight the ex nigga. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie. Most niggas, this, this, this is what I think. Most niggas get in disagreements and fights because of women. You and think it's, so? Yeah, it's, and, and nine times out of ten, it's because the man ain't checking his woman or his girl. Like, say if a girl was to get out of line, right? The first thing she's going to do is to go get her man, which she should do. But I'll tell the nigga, look, you're not checking your girl at home. So she coming out in public thinking she could just run over every nigga. And she's going to get checked. And she can't fight her battle, so she's going to get you. Now, me and you, we don't want no problems. But we're going to end up fighting each other because you don't check your girl at home. Check your girl at home before you send her out at the grocery store. And you, and that's a prime example of what, of, of what I'm saying. Is men need to check their girls. Whatever, Bobby. That's what I mean. Am I right or am I right? Somewhat right. Hey, this all I'm saying is every time a situation like that happened, I'll tell my girl, I'll tap her like, look, 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 look. You see this? This was going to happen if you don't keep your fucking mouth shut when you start thinking you could check other niggas that ain't your nigga. Because every nigga ain't going to love you and treat you how I'm going to treat you. And you're going to look for me to defend you, which I am. But it's going to be a whole situation that don't need to happen. You right, Bobby. Now, I ain't saying... Now, now, now I ain't saying get stomped on, let a nigga talk to you any type of way. Hell no, nah, we ain't going for that, baby. But at the same time, don't be thinking you right in every situation. You right. You right, Bobby. I agree. I know I'm right. Anyway. <laughs> next question. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so this song that's out right now, Throat Baby, how you feel about that? I mean, you don't care about it. No, I mean, what's the difference? Like, everything out right now is like explicit. So, so what's on your music playlist? <laughs> right now, what I've been listening to the most is Twenty One. Twenty One Savage new uh mixtape. Mm -hmm. Cause he raw, cause he raw, right? You can say that, yeah. Yeah, he raw. I mean, you, I, what I, you I, listening to? Uh, 21 Savage, I'm on that. Uh, NBA Young Boy. Uh, what else in my playlist? Oh, I've been listening to that, 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 uh, Brent Faison. Brent Fire? Uh, how, how you say it? Fire. Yeah, he hard. <laughs> yeah. He hard. Uh, I like that too. I don't know if I'm saying his right name right. Mixtape. The one that be singing. The one saying love cycle, but he's talking about real shit. He talking about real yeah. shit. Yeah. But uh other than that, nothing really. Nothing. That's it. What'd you That's think it. about that song? Which one? That throat baby. Throat baby. Mm-hmm. It's catchy. I mm -hmm. like it. I just don't like women saying it that ain't throat babies. What? Okay, okay. 
I huh? feel like women that ain't throat babies, you can't sing the chorus. You just sing, you just rap the verses. Just rap the verses. Just write the verses? No, just rap the verses. Just, just sing the verses. verses. Yeah. Cause all right, say if, say if I'm with a girl and she be gagging all the time. She only get the mushroom top in. She be like, oh, it's too much, right? If we ride it in the car and she starts throat baby, I'm gonna look at her like what? You ain't no fucking throat baby. You a tip baby, but you ain't no throat baby. So what's the difference about people rapping about shooting and killing people, but they ain't did that either? <clears throat> uh, ain't no difference. I ain't finna defend that. Mm -hmm. I don't defend fuck shit. <laughs> 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 I mean, you ain't finna, I, ain't, I ain't finna sit here and lie because trying to make a point. That's that's fuck shit too. Is that if I'm wrong? If I'm wrong with a nigga and he talking about busting and shooting, I'm gonna look at this nigga like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's the same right. shit. Right is right, wrong is wrong. But if you listen to shoot this person, shoot this person, shoot this person, and you ain't did it. And you rapping about it, it don't mean nothing to you, right? So throat baby shouldn't mean nothing to you either. Okay, I got you. You were talking about like the person that's rapping it that's saying it along. Okay, mm -hmm. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Hey, I got another question. Mm -hmm. I got a lot more, but this question I really want to know the answer and I want to know the truth. Have you ever got flown out? No. I never got flew out. You never got flew out. Nope. Why? Cause you don't check your DMs. Nah, I just never got flew out. Oh, you waiting on it? Mm -mm. Will you entertain it? Probably so. I probably wouldn't do it though. So, and that's 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 the thing, people. People don't like stuff that they don't want done to, done to them. So you'll waste that nigga time, but you don't want your waste your time wasted. You said you'll entertain it, but you ain't gonna do it. Mm -mm. So you wasting that nigga time. How am I wasting his time? If he's talking to you about getting flown out, but you're not gonna do it, that's wasting time. It depends how long we're talking about it. Six months, that's wasting time. That's half a year. Of somebody's life. So, what part of that you ain't gonna do it correlates with six months? Let's just say if he's on it in four months, you still not gonna do it. Okay, yeah. All right. But so, what's the reason? Ah, uh, you you come in my DM. I've been talking to you for like a week. No. Okay. So what you? So what would be your rules of getting fl flown out? Bobby, you know, every situation is different. I'm going to help you again. Is it going to have to be a round ticket or is, can it be a one-way and you get your own ticket back home? Oh, no, it's going to be a, a round trip. Oh, it's going to be a round trip. Mm -hmm. How many days minimum? Minimum three. Maximum? Seven. And if they get you flown out, they taking care of all food expenses or are they just getting you dinner all seven nights and you get lunch and you get breakfast on your own? I think I should get lunch and breakfast on my own because I'm not a taker. I can take care of myself and I don't want to just take, take, take from somebody. That's not me. But it's, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. If it was the other way around, I wouldn't want to spend all my money either. And when they can take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. It's different if you was married, but not. Nah. Gotcha, gotcha. So what, what's one of the things or something that'll get a nigga left on red in your DMs? Ooh. Um, and if you don't mind sharing them. When you just come in somebody's DM with the little emoji with the tongue or the little water droplets, that's you getting left on red. Okay. Or if you know I don't talk to you like that and you hear me long time no see, uh-uh. 
No, you're going to get left on red. And if you know we had a bad situation and you're going to come miss me, uh-uh, you getting left on red. No. Why are women so horny during are doing a period? I can't speak for all women. Listen. Me? I am. I guess it's more like a hormonal thing. Like, your hormones just changes during that time. So you're just horny. I don't think you can pick and choose when you get horny. Do you pick and choose when you're horny, Bobby? No, I'm saying, but why they be so horny during that time? Like, do y'all... The hormones. The body changes. Okay. So what is or how long should you wait until that's like Okay, I'm comfortable with doing that in a relationship. What period sex? Yeah, period sex. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I just had this conversation like last week with somebody. So you should be first on your head. I think it shouldn't be no guideline because if you haven't sex with somebody, you haven't sex with them. If you want to have sex with everybody in the world, then yeah, it should be a guideline, but. Also, once you get that relationship, like once we once we established, it's like it's whatever. Hey, I like your mindset. That's why you the go. <laughs> That's why you the go. Whatever, Bobby. <laughs> what is yeah. your guidelines? My guidelines on running the red light. Mm-hmm. <sighs> well, Hennessy got to play a part in it. Depends on how much Hennessy, how much Hennessy. I'm on, and then. If she's spotting, if she's spotting, like I send that text back, like beginning or end. Cause you know, hey. What if I'm it's not, huh? What if it's like all going like they heavy? Two, they like yeah. heavy. Mm-hmm. heavy? Mm-hmm. If she if, if if she my girl, just a random. Both. A random. If she a random, hell no. But is she your girl? Is she my girl? Let, let, see, it. let her have fun. Let that towel down, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let that towel down. So what's the difference? It's because I don't mind. I don't mind to clean up with my girl. Shit, that's an experience. That's a, we're gonna make fun. We're gonna laugh about this shit. And we'll, but like a random, it's. Get in and get out. When you supposed to be doing no cleanup? <laughs> Not that cleanup. So, shut up. <laughs> so the aspect is really the cleanup. It's got to be more to it. No, that's the defining. That's 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 the defining. Um, border. I mean, not borderline, but cut line right there. I mean, if you're a random. I'm gonna be honest. I'll just go down my call log on my contact list and I'll pick one that's not. But if I'm with my girl and I got a girl, then we running lights all day. Got you. Maybe. I mean, but I'm I'm saying I'm saying though, like a man like me, if I want sex, why would I pick one that's only period? If I can just pick another one, right? It, I mean, it, it don't make sense. You right. But my girl, we running lights, baby. Red light district. <laughs> and I don't mind the clean. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mind the cleanup. I guess so. Nah, you gotta know though. You gotta know with me. I'm telling you. <laughs> you don't have sex with these randoms, Bobby. I don't be having sex with randoms. Mm-hmm. Cause I know they first name, but I don't remember it. <laughs> so they're not random. Okay. All right, Bobby. Anticipation is, is anticipation and connection sex is way better than just like a a, a fling. Right. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Because that shit be like that shit be like it's wet, and then there's like Shawty won't be wet. Right. Like you wet. Uh huh. Like Justin, you wet. Justina wet. Just for you. 
Yeah, just for me wet. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna start saying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start saying that. That's it. Just for me wet. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's it. Just for me wet. Got you. I like that. You know, when you got down with your finger and then you do this and it start like sticking together. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I start sticking together like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? So, Bobby. I'm listening. You go without sex. How long can you go without sex? No jacking off? You can do that, but no sex, no female sex, no intercourse with a female. Like, like I ain't even thinking about it, or I'm just like having enough discipline not to do it. Having enough discipline not to do it. Three months, and that's cutting it. And that's cutting it. And that's cut. But like, if I know, like, if if I, if I know, say if my girl out of town, or she uh in the military, or something like cross seas, and I know a potential date when she, I know like the time frame she coming back, then I got something to look forward to. Then I could probably do that. Mm-hmm. I, I I could probably do it because I'm looking forward to something. But if I'm just like, I'm just doing it until I kick just until I can't can't no more then that's kind of like it's hard to say yeah gotcha. it's, hard. it's hard to say so right now your lifestyle you partying a lot you just uh staying at home you just I'm uh, working a lot right now i am working on my master's degree so i'm pretty busy in master's degree in social work social work mm-hmm. that's what's up that's what's up those be the freakiest women what? Women with degrees. <laughs> For real? No, I think it'd be the ones without degrees be the freakiest. Nah. Ones. That's why they be having all the babies. Nah, nah, they have all the babies because they ain't busy. And they ain't got enough money. They ain't got enough money to uh, get rid of. Bobby, shut up. For real? The women with businesses, they be freaky. But before... They uh let any of their friends know they heard can get rid of it. You think so? I know so. Okay, Bobby. How many women you been with? Women ain't been with no women. Exactly. I've been with a lot of them. I know more about them than you do. Okay, Bobby. All right. So, like I was saying, like women with like degrees, they be around niggas that kiss their ass so much. That once they get around a nigga that's like me, that's gonna treat them like a regular woman, they be freaky as hell because they finally get to have sex. Cause a lot of niggas they be intimidated by like women with degrees. I like hell yeah. A lot of these niggas don't know how to approach a woman or they see a, I don't see niggas in a group have a whole conversation and a girl come by and they all just stop talking. They intimidated. Dang, I ain't never thinking about it like that. So, say you date somebody, right? And she's like a whole doctor. And look, if I come to you and you, and, and 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 I say, hey, how you doing? And compliment you, and then get to rapping with you, and then ask for your number at the end. What you gonna tell me? Let's just say you say the worst thing. No. Mm-hmm. All right, I, I go on about my day. I'm still gonna say, all right, baby, have a nice day. I'll probably open your door for you to get in and leave me. Mm-hmm. But. I ain't scared of fucking no. Exactly. Right. But guess what? what? If I see you again at the next bar, I'm probably going to shoot my shot again. <laughs> you so persistent, Bobby. I mean, I, I don't, I mean, like, it's, okay, no, I understand no. Mm-hmm. I mean, I ain't going to be, like, perverted with it and, like, super aggressive. I'm going to still keep it classy and stuff. But, mm-hmm. hey, eventually I'll grow on <laughs> okay, Bobby. Next question. Uh, we was talking about your uh your your your, your party and stuff. You said you're working a lot. So did you ever oh, like yeah. Party? yeah your masters and stuff? Nah, I go out every now and then, but not no parties like that. Mm-mm. You ain't used to party. I did when I was younger, but not now. Mm-mm. It's not my scene. Oh, you was that girl that was. Putting that flashlight on niggas before you twerk on them. <laughs> you remember them days? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you remember them days? <laughs> I remember them days, but nah, it's just not my scene no more. Oh, okay. You used to flashlight niggas? <laughs> Sometimes, Bobby. What you used to look for? What you used to look for when you flashlight them? Because it's young niggas that watch my shit too that's still getting flashlighted. And they want to know what can they do to not get like, uh uh-uh, uh, nigga, get the fuck away from me after they get flashlighted. There ain't nothing you can do. No, I mean, like, next time they come to the party, like, what can they do? Like, what you think? What, what's one of the reasons why you had flashlighted a nigga and it was like, nah, bro, get the fuck that's away from that's me? That's not cute. That's it. Mm. That's just it. So ain't nothing they can do. No, no. They so they can't put no axe over that musty ass smell. They can't goddamn do nothing. That's it. It's like a no go. So that's what y'all do. Look at the nigga face, cause I don't seen some niggas out there with some goddamn fresh ass clothes, but they ain't got no haircut, no nothing. And she just look at that nigga's shoes. I don't see him play that girl's flashlighting nigga's shoes. And be like, <laughs> okay. For real. And be like, oh, okay, he got the retro threes on. Nah, I mean, it just is what it is. It ain't really nothing you can do. It's a part of life. Keep it moving. Mm. So we talking about party and stuff. What's that, what's that one song that you hear that make you just go throw that ass in the circle? Like, you just go like, you just go. Um, you remember that Fish My Tennis song? Pop that. Pop that, pop that. Don't twerk, twerk. Yeah, that one, that one, yeah. That's it. What's yours? <laughs> whatever y'all listen to. Whatever. <laughs> whenever, whenever y'all, no, but for real though, when I used to go to like house parties and stuff, like whenever I used to hear Cash Money Records taking over for the 9 oh, yeah, 2000. Yeah. That's not the okay. national one, though. Yeah, I mean, but that's that's a song when I like used to, like look for where she at or whoever she is, and like like if you get flashlighted on that song and you don't get no twerk, go home. <laughs> beat beat the traffic, nigga. Beat the traffic. Yeah. That's, that's my shit. That's my shit, man. That's mm-hmm. my shit. Uh, I got a few more. I was living life, Bobby. Living a life? I was just living life. Oh, okay. So you so that's so that's when a girl say that, that's when they, they was going through their hope phase. <laughs> I was living life, Bobby. I'm gonna just say that. All right. Mm-hmm. We ain't gonna touch on that no more. <laughs> the little nasty ass. At least I got it out. You still trying to do it. I'm not trying to do it. I'm just trying to get it out. So when I do meet the next one, I'm like, baby, I'm here. I'm all you. It after, ain't you after you done spread it and shared it with everybody else. So body count matter? No, it don't matter, but you got to be but, but, like, but, but this is the thing. I'm not just out just like fucking, 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 fucking. But I just know I'm not ready to be with one person. Right now. What would make you ready to be a one person? Uh, First, I got to get off the little evil, little dirty, nasty shit that I want to do out. Okay. I don't even want to ask what that is, but I... And I got to live more life. I got to see more stuff because I feel like when I get in a relationship, my next one is going to be like great because I'm going to try to be the perfect nigga. So I'm going to like not gonna have questions in the back of my head. Got so, what's mm-hmm. over here? What's over there? Cause I done did that shit. Mm-hmm. So when I'm with you, I'm with you. This it. I'm be a born ass nigga. Like I'm with you. So if you ready for a born ass nigga, holla at me when I'm done. So you feel like since you in a relationship, you gotta be born? No, I just say, okay, maybe a better term. I'm gonna be less active. Then, I mean, but then again, probably because I'm in a relationship, I'm gonna be doing relationship shit. Mm-hmm. So right now, that's probably down. What's that, Bobby? 
That was a uh, damn. You checking me? It was on my screen. What you seen? It was a picture of something. What was it? Was that you? Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. It was a. Uh, it was probably my uh, Google account picture. All right. But but yeah, I thought my phone was fucking charging. But it's, yeah, just twenty percent sign. But uh, what I was saying. But yeah, once I uh, get all that out my system, and I'm probably looking at like relationship shit is born due to my lifestyle now. But once I get in a relationship, that shit probably gonna be fun as fuck when I when I get in one. I think so. You think it'll be? Mm -hmm. If you like get you? good with the right person, someone like you, perhaps. Hey! So you don't think I'll be born then? You think yeah, I'm, I'm you think I'm you think I'm gonna still be the same happy gullible person I am? Yeah. Yeah, I do I I I, I do think it's gonna be the uh the partner. Mm -hmm. The partner uh plays a part in it. Yeah, I One think so. Question for you, Bobby. I got if, an answer. If you're in a relationship with someone, right? Mm -hmm. And they have an ex, but is the ex from a while ago and they really actually just friends, right? Would you uh -huh. have a problem with them testing their ex every now and then? I didn't hear the last part. Would you what? Would you have a problem with them testing their ex every now and then? I got to be in that situation. Because right now, the type of person I am, my confidence is high. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to put no, like dictatorship on nobody, I don't give a fuck who you text. Because at the end of the day, I mean, it's mine, and I don't care if niggas try you, like, on a, well, not a sexual way, but I don't care if niggas, like, try to holler at you, mm -hmm. because that's just gonna give me a better security of where we stand at if you, if you shooting them down. But at the same time, I'm gonna let you handle that, and I'm gonna be, have your back if you be like, oh, man, this nigga keep messing with me. Mm -hmm. So if you texting a nigga that used to be your ex, how would that play a part with me? My ego will be my ego internally won't show you how I'm really feeling. Mm -hmm. So I it, it it'll it'll probably play a part, but I don't know. That's a good question. That's a good question. I don't know. Cause it's a lot. Of, I mean, is he flirting with you, or is he just sending you good morning texts? Like we out, and you like, and you like, oh, I got Texas sticker back. He texts me. No matter of fact, no, fuck that. Ain't nobody texting you. Fuck that. Yeah, it like I'm crazy. That, 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 that question I ain't know, but now I'm thinking about it. Like your ex, like he. No, Bobby, you he don't have right? Hell no. Nah. Fuck that. No. So you don't but have cop, but. But my confidence in me is still like I'm doing that not to stop you from doing it. It's just doing it just because, nigga, that's my territory, bro. But so you don't have no instance that y'all just really genuinely just friends because when y'all are in a relationship, y'all yeah. do a lot. Y'all best friends at that point, right? And some people break nah. up and still be friends. Nah. Yeah. nah, most of my exes that left me, they they left like I hate. You full of shit, uh, you fucker, uh, and, and huh? What you do? The same shit I'm doing now. <laughs> All right, nothing. But uh, I think a lot of niggas they don't want to be in relationships either. They just don't want nobody else to be hitting that thing, so they try to claim it. Mm. So what it means when I know you got questions, but I got questions too. Hey, I got answers. Okay, so what it means when you used to mess with a girl, right? And y'all not talking like that no more, but you want to call and check on them, talk about how you doing. What is that? Yeah, he wanted his old thing back. <laughs> All right, Bobby, I'm ready. Next question. You got that walk, huh? He keep texting. Oh, next question, Bobby. <laughs> he keep texting, huh? Next question. He keep texting. Well, we about to wrap up, man. This is my last question, and I ask this on every episode. Mm -hmm. It don't have to be a short answer. You can go as long as you want. What are your top three 
porn site? You know what? You can get your little boy home ready. I have never watched porn. <laughs> never. Well, my battery's back in this. You late. Part. You late. <laughs> you never. Come on, man. Never. Mm -mm. Why? For what? I mean, I know people say they watch it. You ain't that damn busy. Ain't that many goddamn social books you reading? I don't touch myself. I don't do none of that. You don't touch. You don't touch yourself. Mm -mm. I don't feel like for me, sex is an emotion and it is an emotional thing. It's not about the physical. So I can go without sex if I'm not emotionally connected to somebody. If I'm not emotionally connected to you, I can't have sex with you. That's a great answer, but I don't see how you do it or any, cause like, I, I think women are way more hornier than men. We just have a hard time hiding it. Mm -hmm. So like, you don't get like horny? I do get horny, but I just keep it pushing. So what you do when you horny? Like you just go eat it off? You can't sleep it off. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, like, what the There's heck? Nothing. I I can think about it. I can daydream about it, but I don't play with myself. I don't watch porn. I don't do none of that. That's fucked up to Isn't your body. That's I mean, it ain't fucked up. I mean, it's fucked up to your body. That's your law. <laughs> because you horny, and you ain't feeding it. That's your body talking to you. When you hungry, <laughs> don't your stomach growl. You feed it. My, when you horny, that's your pussy talking to you. You feed it. But my emotions are connected to my pussy. I need that emotional connection with it. Because let's be honest, sex is very overrated. It's not that good. No, the, 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 the beginning, the middle part is. But the end, it ain't overrated. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even all that good. It's over with. It's because your partners, bro. They, they, they all been light skinned huh? No. <laughs> no. But the darkest one was the best. <laughs> nah. Yes, sir. So let me well, ask you. Go ahead. Say you was um dealing with somebody and they not that experienced with sex as you are. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? That made me feel great. Mm -hmm. Because it's easier to treat, I mean to treat, it's easier to teach new tricks mm -hmm. than to try to teach a girl a trick that she thinks she already knows. Exactly right. Everybody's different. So everybody likes something different, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can't do the same thing with everybody. Right. So yeah. you like to learn new tricks or you be trying to do the same shit on everybody? I would like to know what that person like and I would like to cater to that person. You're a pleaser. I would like to be. Yeah, I try to be. I won't tell you what's overrated though. What? Lingerie. You think so? Yeah, I think so too. Like, what's the purpose? I mean, it's like it ain't it. It ain't nothing but another obstacle in my goddamn way. <laughs> so, what you like, Bobby? Like a trench coat and nothing underneath? Yeah, I like for you to wear that for me. Mm -hmm. A trench coat and like a burger in the oven or some shit. A what? A burger in the oven. Or some ribs or something. <laughs> okay. Okay. And when I walk in, she be like, got something in the oven for you. And I'll say, which one? And she be like, check both. You so corny. I don't care. <laughs> Girls like corny shit when you're in a relationship. I don't know why. Y'all like that shit. But I say, which one? <laughs> 
Are you crazy? Hey, that's right though. But uh, that's it. That's all I got for you though. All I don't right. have nothing else. You got any more questions for me yeah. about your relationships? No, I got no questions. Nothing about your car? <laughs> no, no questions, Bobby. You don't need to know why that oil light on? Mm-mm. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to uh check your uh your temperature, make sure everything's good on you. I appreciate it. Yeah. We gotta do this again though. I'm about to go tell myself with the rabbit Say we gon' fly now. Say we gon' slide now. Look at your fly now. Then right I'm high now. Let's make a move now. Show you how to groove now. Make a ride it like broom now. Call your friends in the room now. She say we gon' party. We gon' all it. Skin is so smooth like a body. She gon' ride it like Harley. Maybe Ferrari. Didn't need all like so smarty. No, she don't know me. She moving closely. I'm already thinking.